Leopards and cheetahs are two of the most fascinating big cats in the bush. Leopards are stealthy and agile and can climb trees as well as a monkey. Cheetahs are quick and fast and can make devastating runs to make a kill. If you want to see two of the deadliest felines in the bush, keep watching as we look at the top 45 brisk and swift hunting moments by leopards and cheetahs in tropical grassland. Number 45. This leopard sneaks up on an antelope and it takes the feline seconds to capture its prey and kill it. After the antelope struggles briefly to free itself, the big cat can be seen dragging its kill back to ground control. Number 44. A group of travelers were halted on their route to the Masai Mara's Kikorok Airport by a female leopard named Luluka, catching a reedbuck antelope. They were fortunate that one of them had a small compact camera on hand for situations like this. When challenged, reedbucks normally remain still or retreat slowly into cover, only to flee when the predator is quite close, which is why he did not react fast enough. Number 43. After killing a zebra, a leopard carries it up a tree. Although it may not be able to defeat a lion, this animal possesses incredible strength and agility. When it arrives at its destination, it is fatigued, but at least it can have its dinner in peace. Number 42. This is a classic leopard versus warthog scene, when a male leopard takes on a warthog almost as big as himself. The leopard puts his own life on the line for the sake of a warthog meal. Both the leopard and the warthog become locked in mortal combat as each tries to ensure their own survival. Warthogs have been known to mortally wound leopards in situations such as this, and big male leopards will often catch bigger warthogs than this. Number 41. After stalking a warthog, a young male leopard sprints for the kill and makes it happen after tackling a hefty warthog behind some trees. There was a small struggle, but nothing the big cat couldn't handle. Number 40. A leopard jumps on a young wildebeest calf but looks around for a few seconds just to make sure mom isn't around. Once he feels comfortable, he grabs the wildebeest by the neck and runs off with it. Number 39. A leopard runs and tackles an unsuspecting wildebeest. Once the big cat has a grip on the animal, the wildebeest battles hard and the leopard can't make the kill immediately. This is turning out to be a difficult hunt for the feline, but he manages to take the wildebeest down. Number 38. A leopard appears out of nowhere and tackles a young wildebeest calf into the mud, while the rest of the herd flees in all directions. With no adults attempting to assist the young calf, he is doomed and the leopard easily kills it. Number 37. A normal leopard would never dare stalk baboons in broad daylight. The troop appears to be completely unaware of the impending threat. She's out in the open, but she's remarkably unseen. She goes for the kill and comes away with a minor but significant victory. Her cub will be taken care of. Number 36. This leopard has spotted a baboon and runs straight for it. Once the leopard has the baboon in its grip, there isn't much the primate can do. The leopard is much stronger and his bite crushes the baboon to death. Number 35. Two jackals were trying to signal a leopard for being too close to their den. This only angered the leopard more and the jackals ended up being hunted by the big cat and one of the jackals paid with his life. Number 34. A couple of jackals find a dead warthog on the ground, but when a leopard shows up, the game changes. The leopard is just a cub, but he doesn't like the jackal being there and attacks it with all its strength. The jackal gives the leopard a run for his money, but it's no contest. Meanwhile, the other jackal decides it's a good time to get a bite while his friend is being demolished by the leopard. Mom watches her cub fight the jackal without intervening. Mom and her two cubs are seen walking away after the altercation. Number 33. A leopard stalks a martial eagle. And even though martial eagles are deadly predators, they're no match for an adult leopard, especially on the ground. The leopard times his run perfectly and makes the kill like a pro. Number 32. A group of owls 30 feet up in a tree are not expecting this four-legged predator to come calling. The takeaway here is that a leopard's speed and agility should never be underestimated. Number 31. This incredibly acrobatic leopard dares hunt a francolin bird in a tree. But after a few failed attempts, the leopard goes on the run and forgets about the bird. Or does he? The leopard can be seen with the bird in his mouth at the end of the video. These leopards are beyond belief. Number 30. A wild cat is larger than a domestic cat, but it's no match for a leopard. You can see how easy it is for a leopard to kill this wild cat. I mean, the wild cat is slightly bigger than your cat, so how in God's name can this cat have a fighting chance? Number 29. Killing wild cats for leopards is child's play, and we have another example in this video as this leopard chases and kills a wild cat in the dead of night. The leopard is too strong, and it also outruns the wildcat. Number 28. This poor little bat-eared fox tries to free itself from a leopard's grip, but it doesn't look very promising. 
The leopard is young and carries the fox close to a tree where it can consume it in the shade. Number 27. This leopard has just killed a hyena and is carrying it in its mouth. When a leopard's meal is threatened, it may kill a hyena. However, I've heard that leopards will seldom go after a hyena to intentionally kill it so it can eat it. A hyena, on the other hand, being a natural opportunistic predator and scavenger, might kill and consume a leopard. Well, guess what? This leopard has just broken the rule because it looks like he has no qualms with eating this hyena. I guess the tender meat was too hard to resist. Number 26. A leopard is crouched stalking a herd of impalas, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. He quietly walks towards the animals to maintain the element of surprise. The impalas have no clue he's right next to them about to strike, but they're still fast enough to get away when he does. Number 25. Pula is the name of this leopard, and she is the ruler of the forest, the kingdom's beating heart. Her ripped ear was only one of a decade's worth of scars from wars lost and won. Pula, who was not born into royalty, has worked hard to establish her rule. Her achievement, though, is tainted by tragedy. She only has one living heir. This season could be her last chance to make a lasting impression. She'll be tough and prepared. The benefit of having a high viewpoint in paradise is that there is always a seat at the high table. This lowly-born woman's wealth is earned through sheer force of will. She keeps it with a strong grasp. Number 24. A rabbit dies after being hunted down by a cheetah. Except for their legs, which allow them to run quickly, rabbits have no defense mechanism to protect themselves and cannot outrun a cheetah. Number 23. These young cheetahs are chasing a rabbit, but it appears they're having fun while doing it, tenderly tapping the rabbit on the bum as they chase it. They're successful when they eventually gather around the rabbit. Number 22. These young cheetahs are having all the trouble in the world catching a rabbit. The rabbit runs circles around them until the cheetahs get smart and make the kill. The only problem is they don't make the kill right away because of their inexperience and the poor rabbit desperately tries to free itself. I guess it's only a matter of time before the rabbit succumbs. Number 21. In this video, you can see an Asiatic cheetah hunting and killing a rabbit. This cheetah looks slightly bigger than the African cheetah in my opinion. There are less than 50 Asiatic cheetahs left in Iran. Number 20. The wildebeest arrive in huge numbers. The problem for wildebeest on the move is that they are always heading forward into the unknown. But those who are first to the battlefield and await their opponents are at ease and have the advantage. Cheetahs are artists of deception, pretending to be benign, walking casually as if what lurks under their skins is not important. And that, more than anything, is the cheetah way. Unleashed at 70 miles an hour, this incredible speed leaves no room for mistakes. A quick turn and the size of the prey makes it almost an impossibility. But for this moment in time, nothing else matters for the predator or the prey. And now the brothers are working in unison, collaborating. It's hard to know which god selected this wildebeest. Was it random? Or is it his almost imperceptible limp from last year's water crossing? It is a moment in time, and yet it is timeless. These epic battles for survival are the result of wave after wave of millions of wildebeest that pour into the waiting teeth of just 7,000 cheetahs left on the planet. But victory is short-lived because the cheetahs must defend their kill against hungry hyenas, and they do just that. Number 19. A cheetah is on the prowl and flanks a young wildebeest, tackling it to the ground. But mom chases the cheetah, forcing it to abandon her calf. The cheetah doesn't give up and returns for one more attempt, but mom stands guard and prevents the fast cat from getting close to her calf. Number 18. The open arenas of grassland and desert make up half of all land on our planet. In these exposed habitats, predators like cheetahs, bald eagles, and lions can usually see their prey. But it works both ways. Their prey can see them too. With nothing but open vistas, the element of surprise is hard won, and predators must make their own opportunities. A cheetah may stalk its prey to within 100 to 300 meters before attacking. They may achieve successful hunts by running at a speed of only 64 kilometers per hour. The chase usually lasts less than a minute. If the cheetah fails to make a kill quickly, it will give up. Cheetahs have an average hunting success rate of 40 to 50 percent. Once the prey is dead, the cheetah needs to start eating very quickly, as the other predators in the area will soon arrive and chase the cheetah off. Cheetahs never return to a kill and only eat fresh meat. They also never scavenge. So if they can't capture and kill their own prey because they're sick or injured, they will starve to death. They also obtain most of their moisture from their kills. Number 17. Cheetahs are known for their speed, but speed will not get them very far in a gazelle hunt. 
cheetahs are unable to run at high speeds for extended periods of time, so they must approach their prey closely before launching a surprise attack. It's still amazing to watch this cheetah run at such high speed, and the cheetah even makes the kill during this hunt. Number 16. This cheetah makes an easy kill when it ambushes a Thompson's gazelle. After a long but steady chase, the slender cat goes for the kill and is successful. Number 15. This cheetah mother teaches her cubs how to hunt and even assists them in keeping the impala from escaping. However, when she lets go, the impala is too powerful for the cubs to hold onto and they lose it. Number 14. Onlookers watch from their vehicles while a cheetah tries to finish off an impala during a hunt. The impala is quite big and gives the cheetah a hard time, but the cat doesn't give up and makes it happen. Number 30. A cheetah chases a warthog, but when he overruns his victim, the warthog crashes into the big cat, almost knocking him to the ground. However, because of the cheetah's amazing skills, he's able to get back on the chase and take down the warthog. Number 12. Even though the cheetah is better equipped to hunt than an ostrich, because ostriches are much larger than cheetahs, killing one is a very difficult task for a cheetah. An ostrich's feet are enormous, and a single smack to the head would instantly kill a cheetah. The ostrich is also a fast animal, reaching speeds of up to 50 km per hour, so even though the cheetah is the fastest land mammal, it would need to use all its speed to catch an ostrich. Let's see how this plays out. The cheetah stands there watching and slowly approaches the ostrich, which has no idea what's going on. When the ostrich realizes she's being pursued, she quickens her pace and starts galloping. There are two ostriches, one which runs past the other. She appears to be yelling at the other to step back. The cheetah decides to pursue the second ostrich instead because it is slower. The chase is joined by a second cheetah, and the two of them attack the ostrich from behind. The two cheetahs appear to be peering beneath a lady's skirt due to the ostrich's massive feathers and buttocks. The ostrich fights back and continues to run, but a third cheetah arrives, assisting in bringing the ostrich down and choking it to death, providing them with a tasty meal. Number 11. It looks like cheetahs like to hunt ostriches, even though the big birds can run fast and have deadly kicks. I guess there's a lot of tender meat under all those feathers. Number 10. A family of six cheetahs working together to pursue a huge kudu is an unusual sighting. The hunt has been successful, and the most difficult part now is dividing the meal into equal parts. Number 9. It's impressive to see a cat this small take down and kill such a massive kudu. But when it's an entire family, it's even more impressive. Number 8. A cheetah chases an antelope in this video and uses all its speed to catch up to the animal, which is eventually taken down and killed. Number 7. A cheetah coalition ambushes a topi, and the topi takes off, fending off a few cheetahs, but the cats continue the chase and take the strong topi down, but not without a lot of difficulty. Number 6. Even if these three grown cheetahs band together, it won't be easy to bring down a Nyala bull. When necessary, the bull will hide behind a tree and charge the cats with its horns. The cheetahs attempt to knock the bull off balance, but the bull stands firm, and the felines will have to look elsewhere for food. Hunting is always risky, and sometimes the cats don't get what they want. Number 4. A mother cheetah caring for her cubs spots an opportunity too good to pass up. A herd of springbok grazing casually nearby. The cheetah hunts and kills a springbok in front of safari enthusiasts. Even though the animal is attempting to flee, the cheetah chokes it, and it's as simple as counting to ten. Number 3. Three cheetahs hunt a tricky springbok, and even when the springbok stops and makes an abrupt turn, the cats follow it, without losing ground and make the kill. Number 2. A serval cat is no match for one cheetah. So imagine three cheetahs, but this serval cat arches his back and shows the cheetahs he's not kidding around. But everyone knows he's bluffing, even the cheetahs. A fourth cheetah joins the group, but the cats circle the serval without attacking it. They figure he's a cat, so they'll let him live. The poor serval had the scare of his life but managed to survive. Number 1. This cheetah chases a bat-eared fox and tries to finish him off. The fox wags his tail, but he's not happy because he's fighting for his life. Cheetahs are incredible creatures, and leopards are just as fascinating. Both cats never cease to amaze me when I watch them during hunts. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our look at the top 45 brisk and swift hunting moments by leopards and cheetahs in tropical grassland. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.